So, you think that Yehovah doesn't have a body? Well, let's look at that, shall we? The scripture says he has a face. Jacob saw Elohim face to face. Yehovah himself says, I speak to him, talking about Moses, mouth to mouth, and by an appearance, and not in riddles. And he looks upon the form of Yehovah. Yehovah would speak to Moses face to face as a man speaks to his friend. He has a head. Put the helmet of salvation on his head. He has loins. High above on the throne was a figure like that of a man. I saw that from what happened appeared to be his waist up. Some versions say his loins. He has hands and arms. Yehovah is talking to Yeshua. Sit at my right hand. Oh, Yehovah, your hand is lifted high. He says, my hand surely founded the earth and my right hand has stretched out the heavens. The right hand of Yehovah is exalted. The right hand of Yehovah acts mightily. Yehovah has raised Yeshua to life and we are all witnesses of the fact exalted to the right hand of Elohim. He has a nose and he uses it to smell. Yehovah smelled the soothing fragrance. He has feet. Seventy witnesses saw the Elohim of Israel and under his feet. He has a heart. Yehovah has sought out for himself a man according to his own heart. And Yehovah said in his heart. He has eyes, which would be on his face which is on his head. No, they have heard that you, Yehovah, are in the midst of this people who is seen eye to eye. And Elohim saw the light. The scripture says he has a body. Yehovah came down to see the city. When the men got up to leave, they looked down towards Sodom and Abraham walked along with them. Yehovah was among the men who Abraham walked with. When Abram was 99 years old, Yehovah appeared to Abram. He speaks. When Yehovah had finished speaking to Abraham, he left. Elohim said, a voice out of the heaven said, saying, this is my son, the beloved in whom I am well pleased. He walks. Yehovah, when he walks, it makes a noise. And they heard the sound of Yehovah Elohim walking up and down in the garden. And did you know that the scripture says that he does not want to step in our poop? And you shall have a tool on your staff and it shall be as you sit outside, you shall dig with it and shall turn back and shall cover that which comes from you. For Yehovah, your Elohim walks in the middle of your camp. Therefore your camp shall be holy so that he may see no unclean thing in you and turn away from you. I'm not making this up. This is from the scriptures. He stands. Ma came down in the cloud and stood there with him, with Moses, and proclaimed his name. What is his name? His name is not the Lord. His name is Yehovah. When it looks like this, it means that they removed the name and put this in the place. He eats food. And Yehovah visually appeared to him, talking about Abraham, Yehovah, if now I have found favor in your sight, I beg you, please allow a little water to be taken and you wash your feet and rest under the tree and I will bring a bite of bread and will sustain your heart. Yehovah says, yes, as you have said, do it. And he took the curds and milk, the meat he had prepared, and he set it before them. And he stood by them under the tree, and they ate. He has a backside. I will remove my hand, and you shall see my back. Why would Yehovah himself say that he has hands and a backside if he doesn't? And in which Elohim cannot lie. Elohim who does not lie. It isn't Yehovah who's lying to us. Sounds suspicious to me. 
males and females, bear the literal image of Yehovah Elohim. And Elohim said, let us make man in our image. Let's look at that word. So I'm right here in Bible Hub online. I'm looking at Genesis 1.26. We're going to look at, let us make man in our image. We're going to look at this word. So we click on that and it's 6754. Selim. And we see that it is a masculine noun. And it means an image, form, image, images, likeness. And we scroll down here. Image of likeness of resemblance. And then we're gonna look at our likeness. Let's look at this word, likeness. Now we're gonna look at after our likeness. Click on that. It's 1823, the moose, and it is a feminine noun. And as you can see, it means figure, figures like, figures resembling, form, like, likeness, pattern. It's a feminine noun. Look at that. So you say all this is figures of speech and it's not literal? That is not true. For from the foundations of the world, the invisible things of Elohim, things we can't see right now, are clearly seen and understood in the things that he created, even his eternal power and divinity, so that they, or we humanity, might be without excuse. Let's look at Yeshua's resurrected body. He was not a spirit, but a literal man, flesh and blood, just like us. As they were telling these things, Yeshua himself stood in their midst and said to them, Shalom, feel me and see, because a ghost or a spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you see me having. We are his creation and we bear the image of our Elohim, male and female. We have a head, we have hands, we have feet, we eat, we walk, we talk, because he does, because the family in heaven does. Romans says that if you believe otherwise, then there is absolutely no excuse for you. You have made a religion out of one verse in the Bible. John 4 24 and you have ignored all the things that he has said out of his own mouth about who he is about what he looks like he has a physical being and that we reflect our maker they're lying to you don't buy the lie